What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome to another video. Title update 2.0 just dropped and we have 3 new skills that are absolutely game changing. I'm seeing tons of questions and misinformation on these online, so we're gonna do a detailed breakdown of all 3 skills so you know exactly how they work. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the Intrepid Heart, the new skill from the Flaming Espinas Armor. The first thing we have to do is fill the gauge right underneath our name by attacking the monster. A lot of people think that the gauge fills up based on how much damage you're doing, but that's incorrect. For each different weapon type, the gauge needs a set number of hits to fill up. I made a list of the number of hits each weapon needs to fill up the gauge. This way you can take a screenshot if you want to have it on hand for easy access. Some of the numbers might look crazy, but so far it actually feels quite balanced if you know how to use the weapons. Every time the gauge is filled, we get a one-time safety effect. This will negate damage reactions to a single attack that would normally knock you back, and reduces the damage you take from it. Here's what the skill looks like in action. At level 1, the skill activates and reduces damage we take by 50%. And as you can see, Diablos basically ran me over and nothing happened. This Diablos is over level 100, so this thing usually hits like a freaking train. At level 2, the damage we take gets reduced by 75%, and we trigger an explosion on the monster. The explosion will deal somewhere between 300 and 350 damage, which is a nice bonus. This skill can either be an incredible safety measure or be used as an offensive tool. But it's important to know that the skill cannot negate damage reactions from attacks that fall into the super category. These are the attacks that send you spinning through the air when you get hit, like the flaming Espinas nuke for example here. You can see that the skill saved me, but I still got sent flying by the attack. Next we have Embolden, the new skill from the Violet Mizutsune armor. When we get targeted by a monster, that monster will become enraged about 50% faster, but we gain some benefits in return. For each level of the skill we get increased defense, invincibility while dodging, and the impact when guarding attacks is reduced. Here you can see the exact level of those effects. Depending on the level, the increased invincibility we get while dodging is equivalent to evade window level 2, 3 or 4. And the reduced impact while guarding is equivalent to guard level 2, 3 or 5. And the cool thing is, these effects actually stack with the real evade window and guard skill. This opens a door for some interesting new combinations. For example, we can use one level of embolden plus one level of evade window or guard to reach that skill's level 3 effect. This can totally change how we make our builds now. That means you can push those skills past their normal max levels. But keep in mind, there is a limit to how much you can push this. Either way, this skill already looks incredible for multiple weapon types. And the Violet Mizutsune armor has incredible synergy all around. Agitator will activate faster, Adrenaline Rush will of course benefit from the increased invincibility while dodging, and Offensive Guard will go hand in hand with the reduced impact while guarding. By the way, if you want to see builds for any of these crazy new skills, make sure to stay tuned, cause there will definitely be some on the channel. And now we have Build Up Boost, the new skill from the Risen Camellios Armor. This skill will increase damage on attacks that build up Poison, Paralysis, Sleep, Blast or Exhaust. But for Exhaust, it only counts on Ammo, Files and Coatings. So you already know there will be a new Exhaust and KO Switch X build coming soon. The damage increase we get from this skill will be 10, 15 or 20% depending on the level. Here you can see me demonstrating this with level 1. The regular hits are all doing 260 damage. But every time a hit applies poison, the damage goes up to 286. And you can see that even if the monster is already poisoned, we still get the damage increase. That a single level of this skill can already give your attacks a 10% damage boost is crazy. But the Risen Camellios armor also has great synergy with it all around, especially if you go for poison. Which weapons or builds would you use with these new skills? Let me know in the comments below. There are plenty of builds on the channel already if you want to check some out. Thanks for watching, take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one.